Kevin Eastman and I met uh, through total happenstance. He was taking a bus one day and he saw on the floor of the bus a, a free publication that was being published in the area called SCAT. And it was a cartoon magazine. And he went to their offices and, and asked them if, if they would publish some of his stuff. And they said no, but they, they said that, you know, his his material reminded them of, of another guy who was one of the founders of SCAT, and that was me. And they gave him my, my address, and he wrote me a nice letter and said, hey, you know, I'm in the area. Would you like to get together and talk about cartooning? And he, he came over to my apartment, and we hit it off right away. The character of Oroku Saki has been around since the very first issue of the very first Turtle comic that Kevin Eastman and I did. Started anyway in November of 1983 and published in May of 1984. And he is a large part of the backstory behind the Turtles' origin. Over time, we'll learn more about why Oroku Saki has built up this incredible organization called The Foot. And one of the very basic reasons is that he has these enemies that he has to deal with and he's going to need a large, powerful organization to do so. We see the Foot Tech Ninjas, which are the latest iteration of the basic Foot Ninja, enhanced by uh, Baxter Stockman's inventions, which allow the Tech Ninjas to have a cybernetically enhanced strength and also the wonderful ability to literally disappear. I mean, ninjas are known to be able to disappear using tricks of hiding and so forth, but these guys can literally disappear, which is quite dangerous for the turtles. <laughs> Come on! Show yourself, you lousy! Hun is a character created brand new for the TV show. He is the number one henchman of Rokusaki. And he also is still the leader of the Purple Dragons. And I believe that's where he was recruited from by Saki to become part of the foot. Hun has some interesting facial markings that some people have asked us, are those scars or some kind of tattoo? And I can tell you that they are actually scarred. They come from a very important incident that happens, and that will be shown in a future episode. Hun and Casey Jones have a history, and it's not a good history. And Casey's experiences with Hun have certainly shaped him and led him in many ways to become the self-styled vigilante that he is today. Woohoo! Casey does score an apparent victory over Hun, and it is a vindication of sorts, revenge upon uh, Hun for you know his part in the destruction of Casey's father's store. But it's certainly not the end of Hun, and certainly not the end of their animosity towards each other. It's been a key part of the whole turtle thing from day one that, for whatever reason, the turtles tend to stumble on some of the most bizarre, weird, strange things happening. And the garbage man is one of those things. Garbage is power. The garbage man has exploited an unfortunate part of reality of our world, which is that people don't notice the homeless, or they don't pay attention to them, and, and especially they don't pay attention to them when they start disappearing. And the garbage man exploits that aspect, and he's able to essentially snatch these Homeless people with impunity. If the professor is worried, we should take it seriously. Well, the turtles get involved really because the, these homeless people that are being abducted are their friends. As strange and hidden as the turtles themselves are, they understand the reality of the world, which is that you know these homeless people really have no defenders. They're ignored. No one takes notice when they disappear. And the turtles feel that no one's going to do anything about this, so they should do something about it.